I wanted to share with you one idea uh, how you can grow some food when you think you don't have any space for that at all. And uh, we have a small backyard and I was thinking that I don't have any hope, realistic hope, to grow any food there at the moment because it's not ours, we are renting and we don't want to uh, destroy all the lawn and we hope to buy a land where we could grow more so I thought yeah, this season I won't grow anything for eating but then I got some idea and I thought I might share it with you because I know that there are many people out there who think they have no space for growing food and this idea who knows might help so we had quite a terrible hedge it looks terrible still, but there's a different reason for that. <laughs> I cut it back very hard. It didn't look good for months or two, but it's starting to grow back and it will be a nice wall when I finish it. And uh, there is another part of it just in progress. You see how far uh, that side is the upper part which is not cut yet this was basically what how it looked everywhere and here as well and uh, then I got some idea I might kill two birds with one stone so I cut the hedge so in order to get good looking wall type hedge instead of jungle and when I cut the hedge I happened to get uh, these are some of my plants for the big land yeah, they're just healed in there so and the hedge was up to them when I cut it I gained this much space and it is south facing, so quite sunny, wind protected, very good place for growing something. So I planted a row of cucumbers. That's the biggest one. Yesterday it started to make its first flowers. So I'll have some cucumbers. There's another two, there's another one. Uh, if you watched the video about the glass jars which I used as a micro greenhouses that was there so over the three weeks time they have grown considerably there's a good soil under such hedge because lots of organic matter accumulated over years there's another two this one is not really healthy at all but this one is good some got eaten by slugs like here just an empty space there but I have two here so I can trellis them and use the same space that way the biggest ones I started to tie with these biodegradable twines so they climb up and the idea is as it is south facing hedge what I will do I will let them to climb up all the cucumbers, all the row. I will let them to climb up these twines and I will let them to climb on top of the hedge even. I will see how far I can let them to go without looking too bad. Still it's it's not a production space, it's a city garden, city backyard but I'm quite sure I can use all this space which is free now just because of cutting the hedge the hedge was up to there I cut it and I have the space plus I have the possibility that these bare stems will produce some new leaves and I see that they're starting to produce some 
I don't know if you can see it. Some new leaves in places. So it means that I can hope for some new branches. And I can get a solid wall of hedge instead of this ridiculous thing which I had here. With the empty part here and and wasted space with all kinds of weeds and that. So, idea is that the cucumber row will grow here, which was covered with all kind of debris because of the big hedge. They will climb up to where the hedge is, and they will climb on top of the hedge, as far as I led them. And that way, there are more than 10 plants of cucumbers. And each plant can produce many tens of cucumbers over the season. So I think we should be full of cucumbers by the autumn. And this was done without using any space, any. Just by cutting back the south facing hedge, gaining small strip of space where the hedge and all the debris was and now I have space which is quite huge actually for cucumbers to climb and produce I hope it helps for somebody <laughs>